Hey guys, what is going on? Today we got the Mega Blaziken uh, pin blister kind of thing. I'm kind of surprised these pin blister actually go back to Primal Clash here. They go like Breakthrough, Ancient Origins, then uh, skip Roaring Skies and go to Primal Clash. Which I'm for sure a lot of people are probably disappointed because Roaring Skies does have Shaman EX, uh, which is a high value card in the TCG, which makes it worth a lot of money. But anyway guys, uh, we're going to get into this. I did find, after... Oh my, they were like lined up there. I did find this at Target. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, they were lined up so like, uh, um, there were like six of the, um, what is it, Mega Swamper ones. And then finally, after six of them, I pulled back and I saw the Mega Blaziken pin. So I hope maybe this means something good. Maybe I'll get like secret rares in each one of them. <laughs> Unbelievable, right there, right? I've gotten a, um, I've done a blister where I've gotten two secret rares in two packs. And then the last one, I, don't, I think, was just like nothing, but. So I think my um, pull ratio for secret rares out of blisters are pretty good. I think I get most of my secret rares out of blisters. Um, only a few like out of actual like booster boxes and like none out of, only like, well a few out of tins I guess. I've, I've done that before, I've pulled them out of tins. But most of my, most of the time if I pull a secret rare it's going to be out of a uh, blister pack just because, uh, I don't know, blister packs are really awesome. Uh, tins are awesome too but not as good as blisters in my opinion. But anyway, let's throw that aside. Well, actually, I don't know if you guys want to see the back. I kind of doubt it, but, you know, we'll just show you that. And if you want to read that, whatever that is. All right, anyway, it's here we got the uh, Mega Blaziken pin blister. I started, I decided to start with this. I was going to think about doing the Mega um, Swamper thing, just going uh, from that to this. But I decided this first. I don't know how good that looks in the light and so like that. I'm still recording at night and so like that, usually, because it gets darker. And I have class now until... Uh, six or stuff like that, so I, I may be able to get um, some recording done during the day Just because um, I have a class that runs from six at, um, Six at night to nine p or six six p.m. to nine p.m. So during that time I, if I don't have work I could usually record there, but you know depends uh, So anyway, we got three packs right here primal clash ancient origins and breakthrough So I think we'll start You know, I want to open some primal clash. We're gonna say breakthrough for last so let's go Primal Clash. Maybe we can pull ourselves a Secret Rare in here. That'd be awesome. I'd love to get myself a Secret Rare, uh, uh, what do you call it, in this. There's like Secret, I think the Dive Ball in the, is in this set. The codes are good in this. I was like wondering which one of the codes are good. Alright, so three of the front. I think I might have messed that up right here. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, start off with a Gardevoir Spear Link. We get a Grovile, Shield Energy, Electrike, uh, Tentacool. Rhyhorn, Tynamo, Torchic, Rough Seas Reverse, which is a, is that an uncommon card? I think all trainers are uncommons, but, so a Rough Seas Reverse, I'm not sure if I have this, maybe, maybe not, and the actual rare is a Tentacle, I thought I saw, okay, I thought, I'm not gonna lie, I thought I saw the gold border there, I thought, man, did we just score a secret rare, but we did not, so I'm gonna put that aside, get to the next pack, Ancient Origins, hopefully we find some shiny luck in here. Some kind of shiny uh, hollowness, or at least, you know, or maybe even EX, secret rare kind of thing. Are these, these are good. I think they're correcting their mistakes now. I think a lot of people have complained about it. Now they're finally doing that, where they're flipping the cards forward. So anyway, we start off with a Blossom. We have a Faded Town, Whimsicott, Gumi, Unknown, and, <laughs> trying to grab that card, Persian, Ralts, Golette. We have an Ace Trainer Reverse. And the actual rare in the pack is an Entei Hollow, so we don't come away too bad. They're Hollow Entei. I've got like three or four of these now, but um, I can probably build a deck with it. I think uh, I've seen some decks online running Entei and stuff like that with that Flame Screen and uh, not really Heat Tackle, but Flame Screen, uh, which does 30. And during your opponent's next turn, any damage done to Pokemon juice by 30. And then, of course, probably building up to Heat Tackle. I'm not sure. I've seen it used online a little bit, but not. Um, not that much against me, only like against in some videos I watched, but <laughs> of course they got trumped because there were videos on uh, decks like Dark Integrals and stuff like that and a blue golf ball. But anyway, on to the last pack here. Breakthrough, see if we can get something. Maybe an EX, that'd be nice. Alright, so is this code backward or four? It is four, nice. Alright, so all the codes in here have been good. So, three of the front. Alright, so let's try to get... Breakthrough has been pretty good to me, and I think it's been good to a lot of people. So, I usually... Breakthrough seems to be the one that usually gives you... Um, will be your saving grace in a blister pack, if anything. But anyway, we got a Super Rod. We got Granville, Piloswine, Vanillite, P 
Panseer, Pancham, Inke, Swinub, and a Chestnut Break card. That will be my sixth one, I think. I, th or I think that's my fifth or sixth one. I think it's my sixth, and I did say that I would probably get chestnut six chestnut breaks before the um, break point was out. So this is my sixth, if I'm, yes, I'm right about this, sixth chestnut break in this set. Let's see if we can go EX for break. Can we go EX break? We got a semi four, so we did not go EX break, but we did get a break card, so I'm pretty happy about that. And an NJ Hollow, so this was not a complete... Um, not a complete failure or anything. No EXs, but I still like the um uh, like these pulls. So except no, get away, fuck you, <laughs> huggy monkey. Or sorry, didn't mean the bad language, but you know I hate the monkey so much. All right, anyway, so we got um a chestnut break and an ente hollow. Pretty good pulls. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to crack at the codes, definitely check out the description below, and I'll see you guys in another video.